Hi, my name's Rob Scott from CX Today, bringing you all the latest news and conversations from the customer experience technology space. So today I'll be talking to Frederick Lazur, the CEO of cloud contact center business Puzzle, and Alex Lund, the co-founder of customer engagement platform Vergic, who's Puzzle's most recent acquisition. Welcome, everybody. Hey, thanks, Rob, thank for having you. us. Thanks, Rob. Mm. Well, thank you for joining me. I mean, Puzzle have just announced their mo most recent acquisition, their third acquisition. Uh, and I'm, I'm really keen to kind of get a little bit of background on the deal and how you see your futures together. And I suppose, ultimately, what's in it for your customers. But just before we do, how about we just do a quick round of introductions? And Frederick, would you like to go first? Yeah, sure. So thanks, Rob, again, for having us uh, today. Uh, Frederick, uh, I'm the CEO of Puzzle. I joined Puzzle earlier this year. Uh, my background and career always in IT and technology, CEO of tech businesses over the last 10 years, and actually seven years in customer engagement and customer experience. Uh, beside that, as you can hear, I'm from France, uh, working for a Norwegian company, living in Stockholm, so that makes me a true European. Indeed it does. Now, thanks for that. And Alex? Yeah, hi, my name is Alex Lunde. I'm a co-founder of Vergic. I got a tech background, uh, but I've been the CEO for Vergic for the past more than 10 years now. Um, well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, started the companies, uh, love IT, um, long background from telcos uh, like uh, Deutsche Telekom and, and Telia in Sweden. And, yeah, and we, I founded this company together with my uh, um, brother and uh, uh, friend uh, around the customer engagement concept uh, more than 10 years ago. Fantastic. Thanks for that. So welcome both of you. Um, I suppose, first of all, Frederick, uh, I mean, congratulations on your latest acquisition. I mean, can you give us a little bit of background on the deal, please? Sure. Uh, and maybe to, to tell you more about the deal, it's important to, to understand who we are at Puzzle and, and where we're going. Uh, so looking at that, it's important to know that today what, what we do, why we exist, is to enable brands. Uh, what I mean by brands is local brands with a local consumer base. Uh, so we, we enable brands to deliver exceptional experiences by combining two things. Technology, it's about AI, automation, and yes, we're a software company. But it's by combining technology and people. What I mean by people is the agent, this the empathy. And that's when you combine technology and people, technology and empathy, that you can create lifelong relationships. And, and over the last years, uh, speaking to a lot of customers, prospects, analysts, we all align that today commerce is changing. And, and our vision here is to power the future of commerce by enabling smart experiences. So with that in mind, when we, are, we look at the CCAS or contact center as a service space, we are realizing as well that the contact center is getting closer to the digital engagement. And the consumer starts a lot on the web, not picking up the phone, reaching out to a brand. So I think that that's in this frame that having Virgic joining force with us makes a lot of sense. That's great. Thanks for that. And, you know, Alex, it would probably be good to set the scene in terms of what Virgic do as well. I mean, I've been on your website and there's a lot going on in terms of uh, capability. So, yeah, please give us an introduction. Tell us a little bit about, more, more about what you do. Yeah, I think what we love about this acquisition is that, that what Frederick said, it's like we've been wanting from the contact industry for years. We, we, we believe that the, the Vertic Engage platform, it makes it possible for, for you know, site owners and, and uh, the customers of, of uh, CCAS vendors like Puzzle to engage with their customers online in a more efficient way. You know, we have a, a real-time analytics engine that evaluates and, and um, yeah, um, the evaluates the visitor's behavior and history and then depending on the, the customer's uh, resources and the, the available channels so you connect you to the best available channel based on who's available right now when, when the problem occurs on the website and these channels can be chatbots video chats live chats or maybe book a meeting with the uh, experts at a later time now once they're connected verdict uh, engage platform also sets a set of tools to to make communication smarter i say what, what puzzle would say makes it easier for for the agent actually to to connect to the actual customer. You can see the customer's problem in front of you. You can call browse, you can share your screen, 
can put on your video camera much like we do now to get to get a, a, a very good experience and and see each other and connect more strongly with the customers and this is on the fly there's no need for installation no need to prepare you just go and that that's it that's great and it, frederick i mean in terms of how you see the comp you know the companies coming together and uh, you know how's that going to benefit the customer ultimately so when, when we look at the, going back to, 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 our, to our, our vision, uh, so su supporting businesses to, to change the way they do commerce, uh, bringing smart experiences, bringing the, the end customer and the brands, uh, getting them closer and with empathy. Uh, so it means that here for the customer, what it brings is new experiences. As Alex described is, connecting the web experience starting in the browser and the traditional contact center experience. So all of that merging. At the same time is giving us more experiences in field that we were not, uh, we, we are not expert. That expertise will bring innovation to the customer. Because of our journey is always to help the, our customer getting closer, engage better, and engage in two ways, automate when it matters, and that's what Alex described as bot capabilities. But we all know that bringing empathy when it really matters, the video helping you to, to guide you on, on the website. Uh, so that's, that's the thing that it brings to our, our customers and their customer. A better engagement, better innovation. Uh, today, Virgic is a team of, of 25, 30 individuals joining, joining us. So it's as well bringing us more more muscle to better serve our customers in our key regions, uh, which is Nordics, UK, and even beyond that in the Netherlands, uh, knowing that we announced that we launched in the Netherlands uh, a few weeks back, uh, but as well beyond these regions. Thanks for that. Anything to add, Alex? Yeah, so just a comment to what Frederick is saying there, you know, the contact center business is about, you know, you have, a, let's say, 20 different processes that you're running in your contact center. And you, as we talked about before, the capabilities of Verdict to analyze and then connect you to either a bot or a human or the best possible channel it makes it possible for, for to use automation and bots, you know, to take off the, the easy parts of the call and like to, to start by asking the customer, for instance, what can I do for you? Can you please log in first and then let me prepare the case and then hand over to the human to be efficient and to the point and create a great experience for, for the visitor uh, in a shorter time. That's great. And I suppose, Frederick, uh, I mean, what's your plans for the year ahead? Is this the, the last piece of the puzzle, if you will, or uh, can we expect to see more acquisitions and organic growth from puzzle? So on this note, that's interesting that you, you refer to it as the piece of the puzzle. I think our puzzle as not square Square, a square frame, meaning that it's always developing. Uh, at least for the coming two to three years, we set the ambition to build a European leader in our category. What I mean by that is a European leader in contact center as a service, customer engagement, customer experience. And we're doing that mostly for mid-market to local enterprise. So basically to brands, local brands, supporting local consumer base. And so what we've seen here is uh, growth going from different different angles. First one is geographical expansion. So we are, yes, our DNA is in the Nordics. Uh, we build in the UK where we have a team of 50 plus individual these days, launch in the Netherlands. Of course, we're looking at new geographies in Europe, uh, meaning the rest of Benelux, France, Germany. I mean, that's not... That's not rocket science nor secret. That's that's the, the market with the, the largest TAM. So geographical expansion at the same time is a constant work internally to identify a way to better serve the, our customer and our customer's customer, which means bringing new customer experiences. Now we spoke about video, co-browsing, uh, automation through bots, but we are looking always at serving other use case or other experiences. We should not forget that, so now we spoke, spoke of it's CX today, but we should not forget the AX today, the agent experience, uh, because of, we all know that automation is one thing, but without empathy usually creates a poor experience. So in our roadmap, we're looking a lot at how do we enable, empower the agent to better serve the consumers. 
and the agent, but as well the person managing the contact center. So we should not forget that our customers need to run a business. And even if a key KPI is net promoter score or customer satisfaction, efficiency is as well something important. So based on that, we have, as many others, we look at make, partner, buy. Uh, we have a capabilities to develop on our own many, many things, uh, but we're still acquisitive, meaning that we have the chance together with our shareholder, Marlin, equity partners, uh, to constantly review a pipeline of acquisition that could accelerate our journey in the areas that I referred previously. I think it's a really exciting journey you're on there, Frederick and Alex. You know, I wish you both the very best of luck as the two companies come together. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Rob, for having us. Thank you, Rob. Nice to be here. And that's it from us. If you've enjoyed today's session, please subscribe to CX Today News and give this video a quick share on social as it's always appreciated. And if you're a CX fan and want to be part of the conversation, you can join us using the CX News hashtag on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. And our social links are in the description. I'm Rob Scott from CX Today. Thanks for watching. Thank you.